guys and welcome to Timigate. Today I want us to look at how we can set up the virtual routing within a simple tickle between two micro tick routers. The VRRP is an industry standard unlike HSRP and GRPP which are Cisco uh, proprietary protocols. The reason we might want to set up VRRP is to guard against disaster. It's used for disaster recovery. Like as you can see here, I have uh, a connection, a single connection to the ISP. It could be dual, it could be multi connections, whichever one you have. And I have this connection connected to my switch. I have a one switch here. So on this switch, I have two dual, I have dual connections to my two routers. And both routers are microtic routers, router A and router B. And from the two routers, I have connections to my LAN switch. Then on the LAN switch, I have my network host. The reason I want to set up this is that in event that router A goes down, router B will pick up in less than two seconds. The depot time is actually one second. Okay? So the setup is going to be done in a way. For you to achieve this, you will need a slash 29 IP uh, subnet rather from your ISP so that you give one IP to the one in interface of router A and you give the other uh, IP to the one interface of router B. Then, of course, your ISP will have one IP address here. So if you use slash 30 here, it's not going to work because you'll be, you'll be left with just one IP after the ISP has taken on. So you need a slash 29 to achieve this setup here on the one. Then on the LAN, I have a slash 24 uh, private IP, which is 192.168.20.0 subnet. Then my router A is giving dot one, router B is giving dot two, and of course we are going to use dot three as our VRRP uh, IP address. This IP will be entered on both routers, and whichever one that is the active router will inherit that IP. Okay, so if router A is the active VRRP router, it's going to have that IP twenty dot three. But in the event that it goes down, control will be switched to router B, who starts acting as the 20.3 so to make this work your network host need to be given the gateway 20.3 instead of 20.1 or 20.2 okay so when your network your host here have 20.3 whichever one is active on the 20.3 then it's not a problem the host here can reach it so to achieve this it's very easy it's straightforward i have two micro tick routers here router a router b i'm just going to share with us how it is set up then we we'll do a test to see how it works okay so i'll go over to my uh so on my wind bus here we're going to connect to router one which is router a rather so we'll, we'll just look at that one first so this is router a let's look at the setup on router a so to set up VRRP, you just go to interface, click on the interface, and you see VRRP here, the virtual routing with NASA protocol. You click on it. Okay, I already have it set up, so I'm just going to guide us to how it is set up. When I double click on it, rather, if you're setting it up for the first time, you just click on add here. Okay? When you click on add, you're going to have this interface, which is the same as this one that has been set up. All right? So over here, you may just want to leave this at the default VRRP1. Okay, if you want to give it a name, make sure that the name you're giving here is consistent across this and the other uh, router. But I just leave it at VRRP1, okay? It's nothing. So here, the bulk of the work is here is enabled by default. Everything here is just the way it is by default. So you come to VRRP here, the tab here, click on it. Then over here, you choose the interface connecting to your LAN switch. Okay, it is important to choose the interface. Okay, I have a Microtik RB750. Okay, it's configured in a master slave setup. So the router two the ETA2 interface is the master. Why three, four, five are slaves to master two to ETA2, which is the master. So I'm choosing ETA2 here. Okay. The VRRP ID, just leave it at one. The priority here by default it is hundred. But whichever router you want to become the active VRRP router should have the higher priority between the two routers. So here I made this one 120. Okay. The interval here is one second. If you want to change it, you can change it, but I don't see any reason. Okay. If you feel that your router is going down sometimes and, and it's obviously not a big deal, then you may want to increase this to uh, maybe say like 20 or 10 seconds. Okay. Preemption is important. You need to leave this thing checked 
if you want this router to be able to take over control when it recovers. So what this means is that if you don't check this one, if router A goes down and router B takes control, when router A comes back, it will never uh, wrestle the control back from router B. So when you leave it checked, what it means is that when router A recovers, it will say router B, hey, I am the boss, okay, switch over control to me. So once you've done that, you've checked here, so there is nothing here again. You leave this at version 3, you leave this one at, if you're, if the protocol you're running is IP version 4, of course, you leave it at version 4. If you're doing version 6, you choose version 6. But for this example, it is version 4, so I'm leaving it at version 4. So once you've done this, you click on apply and you click on OK. OK? Then the next thing you need to do is to assign an IP address to this VRRP interface you've created. So how do you do that? You come over here and you click on IP, click on address, and then you assign that IP we just talked about. To assign an IP, we all know that you click on this add sign. All right? So you type the IP address, which is uh, 192.168.20.3 24. And you choose the interface here, which is the VRRP1 interface you just created. And you click on apply and OK. That's all you need to do on router A. OK? Haven't done this on router A, we need to go over to router B and see the setup for router B as well. So router B is on the IP 192.168.20.2. So we go over to router B. Over here on router B, we just do the same thing that we did again. You come to interface here, you click on VRRP, all right? And then you click on the add sign to give you this, right? So the one I've created is here. So once you've done that, on the general tab here, you just leave it at VRRP1, okay? Except you change the name for the other one, then you need to change the name here to be consistent for you to know what you're doing, okay? So having done that, you click on VRRP here. And you also choose the interface that is connecting to your LAN switch, which is, in this case, is still ETA2, all right? It is not uh, necessary or compulsory that the both routers must have the same interface number connecting to the switch for it to work. No. It just happens that I'm using the same model of router, RV750, and then both of them are connected to the switch on ETA2, which is the master interface. So you choose the interface. You leave the VRRP ID here as one to be consistent with the other one. Then the priority for this one should be lower because you don't want this one to be the active by default. Okay? So this one becomes 100. Remember that the other one is 120. Then you don't need to check your preemption here. You don't need to check it. Okay? Version 3, which we are running across this other router. And then, of course, the protocol is IP version 4. You need to go to IP address to assign an IP address to the interface the VRRP interface we just created. So you go to IP, you go to address, and you click on the add, okay? Once you click on add, you're gonna have this uh, interface here, where you enter the IP address of the VRRP, okay, which is 192.168.20.3.24. And then you come over here and choose the VRRP interface, all right? Apply and okay. Haven't done that, you are done, okay? you are done and you can see that this place is in red because the vrrp interface of this router b is not the active one whereas on router a if i go over to router a here press i should see this one that it is active all right so how do i know that this is working i need to come to command prompt and run a ping preferably to that IP, all right? First of all, let me try to check that both of them are up 20.1, okay, which is router A. We can see that it is up, okay, at one millisecond. So let's see 20.2, you can see it is also up at one millisecond. Now let's see the virtual uh, IP, which is 20.3. I'm gonna keep it on continuous screen, all right? As you can see, it is going now, all right? and if we need to verify which router is the active router so i can just do this and i will i need to okay let me keep it running anyway i'll keep it running then i need to unplug the cable that is connected to router a and see how many how long or if ever is going to be possible for you to switch over to router b so while you are watching this I'm going to pull this cable now. I've done that. Are you seeing that it's down? It's down now. Okay. But automatically, it failed over to router B. All right. 
Rather, A is down, and now we are live on router B. If I go over to uh, the Wimbos and check the interface that was down on that, let's check router A. You see that we are, we've lost connection, okay? As you can see here, is 20.1, which is router A. Because I pulled the cable, we've lost connection on router A. Router B is here, all right? So we are still live on router B now, even though router A is down. All right, so that's how easy it is for you to set up VRRP on a microtip router, okay? And then if I if I were to run a ping to the internet now, you can see. Uh, let me run a ping. To, you can see here. I have a ping to Gmail over here. You can see it's going through. Irrespective of the fact that router router A is plugged back. And control has been switched back to router B. You can verify that by going to IP address here on router B. You can see here that control has been switched back to router A, and that's why you have router B all going out. Now router B is in red, sorry, and we still have the pin to Gmail here working, even though router B is now uh, inactive. So which means control has been switched back to router A. You can verify that by logging back to router A here. But okay guys, that's how easy and how straightforward it is for you to set up VRRP on a micro tip router. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. And also visit my blog at www.timigate.com www.timigate.com Timigate is spelled T-I-M-I-G-A-T-E.com Thanks for watching and stay safe.